I just recently got done reading Viola Davis' book okay. um, that she wrote, and it was amazing. First of all, she just overcame and went through so much adversity. Mm -hmm. uh, she came from a family that got it out the mud, like the definition of getting it out the mud, and to see like her perseverance and how she stated that, you know, I'm not the typical, like the ideal black woman, um, and they don't see me as these roles. They want me to always play the crackhead mom or mm -hmm. just something so mm -hmm. derogatory. Mm -hmm. And for her to overcome and to keep going and, and come through Juilliard, like it was just such an inspirational story, especially where she came from. Like, uh, come on, you could do anything you want. You put your mind to it. And that was a great example for me. And I, and so I suggest that book to a lot of folks coming through if you really want to do this. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a great book. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, well, let me ask you all personally, what are some obstacles that you've overcame um, while getting into your careers? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, I'll say trying to get into it because, I mean, there's obstacles even when you're yeah. in it. But while you were trying to actually get into your careers, what were some obstacles? So when I graduated in um, 2009, my thought was, I'm going to be on the radio. I'm going to come back to Atlanta. I'm going to be on 107.9. Oh, my God. I'm going to do all this. <laughs> And there were literally no jobs, <laughs> like no jobs were open in radio. And I had a friend who just randomly was like, well, I know someone who's looking for unpaid interns, mm -hmm. um, you know, for this website, but just, you know, try it out and see what it was. So I came out of school, came and started working for this brand called hiphopwire.com, who I'm still affiliated with to this day. Mm -hmm. And um, it was completely unpaid. I was so broke. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> And eventually it turned into something full time, but that really taught me that like, if you want something bad enough, you know, see what you can make out of it. Because to me, it was such a small opportunity, but it really kind of, it kicked off everything that has happened in my career now. It started out unpaid and then it led me to where I am now. And there was even a moment when I got laid off in 2012, they just completely, fired the whole staff because they were moving in a different direction. That's just how media is. They'll just be like, ah, oh, you know, this ain't working moving. today. Always yeah. moving in a different direction. Always. Let them we, tell we it. We gonna try this in New York, <laughs> so y'all are out. These people are in. And I remember thinking, like, well, I'm, I'm finished. I was like, it's so hard to get back into it. But eventually it worked out in 2014, and here I am. So, yeah. 